This is Dunkanatera, a giant bat and ancient monster mod that reignites my fear of COVID. This is the male skin for Dunkanatera with the common species, the Chupacabra quilled variant, and back to common species. This is the female skin, which looks exactly the same, and is also the common species and quilled variant. We're gonna go through the calls right quick. This is the broadcast. Two call. Three call. Oh. <laughs> Underwhelming. Four call. Talk. And invite. This is the baby model. Take a look at him real quick. <laughs> and we're going to go through the calls right quick. Here's our broadcast. Our two call. Threaten. <laughs> that was cute. Four call. Talk. And invite. Here's our baby walk animation. Our run. Fly. And our bite animation. All right, and here's our adult animations. First, we have walk. And we have run. Here's our sit animation. A real proper gentleman. I sleep. The ears are so cute. Get up. Here's our flying animation. Our swimming animation. Even though I didn't mean to swim. Here's our drinking animation. Here's our eating animation. <laughs> it's like it's eating a sandwich. Oh my god! Now we're gonna check out the skins real quick. This is the default, I think the default, Batty. And we have Dracula. Let me give it. Yeah, there we go. That looks better. Dragon, Nebula, Oof. Tribal, Red Tip, and Albino. These are some drastic matte color skins. <laughs> and we're looking at the abilities. We have one of these senses. We have warrior with the power of the ancient warriors you gain strength but take more damage plus attack minus defense totem is balanced with the power of the spirits you gain the ability to defend yourself from foes but are slower plus defense minus speed with the power of a mighty hunter you can chase down your prey but dish out less damage to opponents plus speed minus attack for hunter we have our regular bite Dunkanatera's mouth is filled with a toxin that causes irritation to those who come near it. Low damage, high venom. And then we have Vampiric Bite. Dunkanatera uses its frontal teeth to open a cut in larger prey and drain it of some of its blood. Low damage, heals health by 20%. Wow. I love these icons, by the way, for this bite. It looks so good. Senses, we don't have anything else. Front limb, slash. Down kind of terror, uses its elongated claws to attack enemies when they get too close. High damage, low bleed. Metabolism, herbivore, eating berries and nuts. Insectivore, 
They are known to eat insects if they live in arid climates, can eat insects, increase hunger drain, and swarm. Dung conotera are often seen eating entire forest of its flora, leaving nothing for other herbivores. Increase hunger and thirst drain, but can eat various flora. That's crazy. Tide, you have standard, resilient. Due to dung conotera eating poisonous berries, it developed an immunity to various venoms and prevent bleeding. Increase bleed and venom resistance. Dense fur. The fur on Dunkinatera can often harden due to the berries they eat. Reduce speed, increase defense. Legs. Air dodge right. Uses its wings to dodge predators that want to hunt it. And then we got air dodge left. Uses its wing to dodge predators that want to hunt it. To the left, obviously. And for tail, we have tail slap. Dunkinatera uses its club-like tail to help deter carnivores that stay into their caves. Stray into their caves low damage does it have a club like tail i didn't even notice all right so here are all the abilities first we have bite one more time bite then we have vampiric bite basically the same thing but you get 20 percent of your health back with that then we have slash okay not bad one more time slash that does high bleed then we have tail slap. Whoa. One more time. Tail slap. Ooh, okay. Then we got dodge left. Ooh. Then we got dodge right. Ooh. We looking clean with this guy. And that seems to be about it for Don Conatera. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, definitely check out my other videos. I cover a lot of mods and I cover a lot of other animal games. So again, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.